with Dr. Matthew Knowles, and Matthew just revealed that he was diagnosed with breast cancer. Also joining us for her first live television interview, his lovely wife, Gina. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Gina, when Matthew told you, you know, about the symptoms, and then ultimately you saw the diagnosis was breast cancer, was that your husband of six years, you're just starting out together. Right. How was that? It was devastating. Um, because I was so tender and raw because my uh, sister had passed away from breast cancer four months prior. So um, it's still very hard. She died uh, January of uh, this year and she was diagnosed 13 months prior. So it, she declined rapidly. And um, so yes, I was very, very concerned and um but you also were having to be so strong for him i had to and as you are healing yourself absolutely i had to be very strong for him and i know and i knew he was very concerned about me and um but we just had to do it together and we had to do it fast and to compound that uh, gina's mother is a breast cancer survivor mm -hmm. yes so this hits so many lives. so many levels Interesting. yeah gina you said that matthew had to be there for you i i when I knew you were coming on for your first live television interview, I mm -hmm. instantly thought, this has to be a strong woman in that you join this man in matrimony, but you also join millions of fans of his daughters, I know. millions of fans of his ex-wife, Tina. Yes. So now you have to build something with him, but you have a cloud, not a rain cloud, but certainly yeah. mm -hmm. the image mm -hmm. of his famous daughters and family over you. How was that? It, it was difficult. <laughs> In what way? Yes. Um, just the pressure. Um, and being in the spotlight. I like to be behind the scenes. And um, I'm not on any social media, no Facebook, Instagram, nothing. Were you worried about her? No, not at all. Not at all. You knew uh, she could we, handle the pressure? Yeah, we, we don't care about what people are saying. Uh, as long as we now can impact others' lives yeah. in a positive way, that's what's important at the end of the day. Uh, it will be just Gina and I in a room. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I got to ask you uh, about Destiny's Child last seen together, I believe, Coachella. Um, we were all at the Tyler Perry event. Uh, Michelle was there, Beyonce and Kelly all at, uh, there. Everyone wants to know, is there going to be a reunion? Now, are you still manage the group. I still officially manage. Uh, and every day I have responsibility of licensing, um, a lot of responsibilities that folks don't know. Do you get to say if Destiny's Child reunites for us or I not? do have an uh, impact in that decision. Oh. I do. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, shot caller. So, oh, um, okay. what is- The first is... thing I'm gonna do is replace Michelle with Gina. <laughs> Oh, do not. <laughs> Gina's like, I have enough pressure. <laughs> Gina, right. Gina, that's, that's not true, right? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Now, not at all. Not want... at all. Come on, that no. is just a joke. Just a joke. <laughs> but is Destiny Child, are, are we going to see a reunion? Well, I always say that it would take two years if today they said yes. Uh, it would take two years just in preparation. Well, we've been asking the question since the Super It's been a two-year question, if not longer. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, where well, are that's, we? That's really up to the ladies to okay. have their first uh, decision and that they want to do that. But what say you? And, and, Is I'm it sorry? time? What do you say? Is it time? I think it's time for the musical oh. that we're doing in February. Ah! So you have this musical in February based on? It's my story of the many years. You know, this journey started in 1993 mm -hmm. uh, with Girls' Time, and then it was The Dolls, and then it was Something Fresh, and then it was Cliché, and then it was Destiny, and then it was Destiny Child. So this is about this long journey that mm -hmm. uh, these ladies went through and a lot of other people. Well, you know what? <laughs> we applaud you coming forth to tell your story, to shine a light on breast cancer for men, everything that you are doing in that world. Congratulations. Thank you. For being a strong force of nature. Gina, yes. thank you for coming on.